Hi, Adams. So like I said last time, um, our next couple lessons, we do not have a reading because we finished our reading and we're going to be focusing on some review, specifically vocabulary words and some of the language skills that we learned this unit. So we're going to start with some vocab review. So I give you a sentence above in bold and then it asks you a question about a word in that sentence. So number one asks, what does the word pollen mean in the sentence above? To make seeds, flowers must share their pollen with other flowers. This is a type of flower, a type of animal to grow or a sub excuse me, a substance made by plants. Number two, of those saplings, only a couple will survive and grow into mighty oaks, spreading their roots and changing with the seasons. Now remember, when we are doing these vocabulary questions, we have a couple strategies that we can use. So make sure that you are plugging in the responses into the sentence to see if it makes sense. And you should also be looking around the other words in the sentence for some clues. So for example, this sentence tells us that only a couple saplings will grow into mighty oaks. So this means that a sapling must be an opposite of a mighty oak. So use that information to find the answer. So is sapling a young tree, to die, to move around, or acorns? Number three, plants make food through a process called survival, ecosystem, photosynthesis, or producer. Number four, which organism feeds on dead matter? Producer, a consumer, decomposer, or predator? Number five, we're looking at the word herd. It says cheetahs and other predators hunt the weak, sick, and young members of the herd. So again, plug in those answers, look at the sentence, and find your clues. So what does herd mean in the sentence above? A large animal, a trip in the wild, living in nature, or a big group of animals? Ecosystems can be fragile. It doesn't take much to cause big changes in the environment. What does the word fragile mean? Weak, to damage, wear away, or a small stream? Number seven, the hills have eroded. Much of the rich soil has been washed away, leaving mostly sand and rocks. Lots of clues in that quote, make sure you find them. So number seven asks, what does eroded mean in that quote above? A small animal, to wear away, a large area of land, or very rich soil? Number eight, it changed the natural flow of the river and endangered several species of fish and plants. What does the word endangered mean in the sentence above? A flowing body of water, an animal that eats other animals, energy from water, or in danger of dying out. Number nine asks, which word includes the oi sound? Oi. Loyalty, water, animals, or author? You're looking for the oi sound. And number 10 asks, which word includes the ow sound? So you're looking for a word that contains the sound ow. Squawk. Cowardly, summarize, or change. All right, we have one more lesson for this unit, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, Adams.